the places in Bastion, the horrors of the unfinished world, the terrors of the night, the hurling sound of a lancer's despair, through the heart that rages, the scorching sun, the pressures of the moon, one thing, one place stays peaceful, even the emerald gardens don't stay quiet for long, but this place this place acts as if there is no chaos, no despair, no anger or sorrow, only order, balance, just as the world was meant to be. The depths of Bastion remains the most peaceful of all the places in this world. The colors, the hue, the temperature, even the anthem smiles at this place, as if the womb of this mother lies beneath. In the depths below, from here, you can hear the howl of the woven, the birth of a new titan as the small one splits from the older one. You can hear the soft spars of grabbits as it kisses the harsh soil. There, that's where she's headed. Satine is a girl who dreamt of flying, but due to the horrors within her mother's eyes, she would never let her own daughter fly. It was just too dangerous, her mother said. Let's not create the fate of your father and your grandfather and your great-grandfather and those who served under the great General Tarsus. It was a heroic deed, I know, but you, you are my only child and I will keep you safe. Every ten days she would visit her uncle at the fort. There she would pick up her mother's old javelin, she would sneak out and just fly. Let the wind blow and be free. And when the storms come, she would submerge to the depths, the one place where there is peace and bastion. Here, she feels no regret, no fear, no danger, no storm, just calmness of the deep. Here, she closes her eyes and she could hear it, a ballad, the language of the unknown, but she doesn't know who plays that melody. It is as if it is calling to her, come, come, little girl, hear me sing the song of your creation. So what happens next? Will she answer to the call, or would she go back home and be with her mother? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.